Was good. Welcome to the first actual video here on the series. As I said, we will start with the interface. It's really important to know. Yeah, that's the basic. You can go back to this video anytime you feel like um, you're missing out something. But yeah, we're gonna start now. When we uh, start with a new project, the first thing... Yeah, where do we start? We start on here with the new composition usually or... We throw our footage in here because in here we have the project window so if we have something in here or we create a new composition for example click here and you can choose whatever you like for this tutorial we will use full hd resolution which is uh, this square pixels frame rate 23976 you can also use 30 fps i use this in this example and you just make sure to click on ok you can set the duration later on and change everything so don't need to worry about that okay if you created this you see there's popping up a new window right here this is basically your timeline window you can skip through this also what you what you have seen is if we create a new composition it will pop up also in here because this is the project uh, panel and it basically shows everything we used in this project so if we edit a video everything will pop up right here composition solids and videos or footage will appear in the project panel now for this example we will start with dragging in our footage so i will drag in an anime episode as you can see i just drag and drop the anime footage in the composition panel right in here and you see it in the timeline this is basically what happens in the first seconds but so on also you can see in the composition in the project panel as well there is our footage okay so now right here this is where we're gonna do the cutting and everything okay here you have the effect controls where you see all the effects that are applied on this layer will be more interesting further on if we apply the effects and after effects it's like that that everything stacks up on each other so if we create a solid we will come to the shortcuts later on you see it's on top of that it's not next to it it's always on top and after effects there is no possibility like in sony vegas or so that i can drag this solid next to that on the same it's not possible so now on the left you can see the source name yeah motion blur what's so on all this uh, panels we will come later in the tutorial to that don't worry at the moment here you can mute or disable the footage and on top we have our toolbar so all the tools we got it starts with the selection tool we come to the shortcuts later on you see it next to it as well selection tool is basically yeah, you can move stuff, right? And select the stuff. The hand tool is basically to go around and you can also do that by holding the spacebar but keyframe tutorial. The next is the zoom tool. You click in, if you press alt you can zoom out. You can also do it with the scroll wheel. The next three are options for the camera. So if we go on layer, new and add a camera. Yeah. We can drag the camera around and change the angle or whatever. Not important right now. So we delete it. Next one is the rotation tool. You can rotate layers with it. Next one is the pen behind. So there you can change the anchor point. Anchor point is important for rotation, scaling or what so on. So for example, if you want to rotate this scene with the rotation tool, it rotates around this anchor if we change the anchor now to the eye it will rotate around the eye you see so this is basically what it does the next one is to rectangle tool as you can see it's not only the rectangle tool if you hold on that you can change between rectangle rounded rectangle ellipse tool polygon tool star tool you can use it to make a mask to create a mask but we will talk about masking later so don't worry about that or if you have nothing selected so click on on empty space and then create for example a rectangle it will create a shape a new shape layer appeared right here and you can change the fill the stroke what's so on with it we will talk about that as well later only the basics now so next one pen tool pen tool is similar to the rectangle tool you just can do your own shapes and yeah similar to the other one you can create shapes or mask with that 
Next one, the horizontal or vertical type tool. Yeah, it's basically if you click on here, you can create a text, type something and yeah, you can change it in the settings later on. And on the right side, you see some windows as well. We'll go on that later. For now, we're gonna delete it. Next one, brush tool. You can create a brush. If you double click on this layer, for example, you can paint in here. Here you got the brush tool. And if you, for example, double click on the solid, and zoom in can paint i don't know why it's laggy right now but usually it's yeah pretty easy you can paint and do every frame whatever okay um we can talk about brush as well it's a cool effect you can use if you know blatter media or something is doing something like this a lot yeah the next one is the clone stamp tool nothing really interesting for now next one erase tool we also need that rotor brush is for masking so we will talk about that later and puppet position pin tool is for animation for example on anime you can animate stilts or the manga for that you need the puppet position tool so nothing we have to care as a beginner um yeah Here's pr basically some presetting, small screen, whatever you want to have your interface uh, sorted out. You can also change these uh, windows on the right side. There's the info audio window, preview window to play and stop and change settings, whatever. Presets, you can search for effects and presets, brushes. A line is for, yeah, it's basically a line. So if you have your layer right here and you want it in the middle you click on here and it's in the middle click on here it's it's also aligned vertically pretty easy and next is paint we also don't need that okay, close that yeah that's it not too much to explain everything that is always a question mark everything that you don't know now will be explained in the later on videos the next video will be about the shortcuts and what you need and we will start with the project so after that shortcut video it's actually going to start with the mv progress and the editing progress and after effects these two videos the shortcut video and the interface video are to get some of the basics so it's not everything you need to know but it's the most so you can follow the steps further on and yeah i hope you get some of the interface basics uh, after that video if you have questions, let me know below in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.